Hi, my name is Terry Pancook. I'd like to share this interesting maxillary first molar. This is the preoperative radiograph. The roots do not look distinct like a normal radiograph. The buccal roots are very thin and narrow with sort of a double image. Here is the wire film showing the joining DB2 and DB1. After extending the initial axis, it became very apparent that this was a C-shaped form. I found the DB2 by troughing a white line connecting the DB1 and the palatal canal. And when I got down a few millimeters in the trough, I found a white dot. Negotiation required a very small, flexible instrument at first. Here's the finished clean and shaping with a paper point joining through the DB2 through the DB1. This is the finished post-operative radiograph showing uh, the complex anatomy and the multiple ramifications. Here you can see the 3D rendering um, which rotates around showing the DB2 coursing almost horizontally to the DB1 canal. You can see it right there. This is a frontal section slicing showing a little puff of sealer coming out. There's a DB2 joining the DB1. Here's a sagittal section view slicing, showing the curvatures more clearly. External puffs are not really a problem clinically, and we quite frequently see those disappear after a few years. The transverse slicing is one of my favorite perspectives. You can really see how that DB2 just crosses right over the DB1 there and how thin that root is at C. Just amazing. Well, thank you for watching my video and visit me on my Facebook page, Terry Pancook, DDS, MSCD, Diplomat of the American Board of Endodontics. Thank you.